Why not move away from the cliché of oriental and dark? Phrygian can be funky too, why not? For me the modes are colors, both for your improvisation and for your composition. A wide palette of colors. This video is about scales and improvisation again. Like in my last video I did, I talked about Ionian and Lydian scales and how to connect them. And here we will connect other scales. We will connect Phrygian. Ionian and Dorian. The first thing we want to do is we want to try to improvise over the track you can hear in a few seconds. Try to play, use your ear and don't think about anything. If that was absolutely no problem for you, you can stop the video and watch the next video right away. If you notice that certain notes didn't fit anymore, then you need a concept. And this is what I give you now. For me the modes get really interesting when we combine them. And in this video we combine a Phrygian mode, a Ionian mode or a Mixolydian mode, I explain that later, and a Dorian mode. This happens quite often. A typical cliche is a subdominant minor cadence. When you have a, in, in C major, when you have a C and then you go to an F major chord and this F major chord on, a, on the four uh, gets a minor chord, an F minor seven. And over the F minor seven, you would play a Dorian scale. But there are other cases. Maybe you have a one and a five minor, so you have a, uh, for instance, a C major 7 and a G minor 7. So you have to play over the G minor 7, a G Dorian scale. So we have four chords here. We have a G minor chord. This is the first chord. And um, then after this, we have an A flat chord over the G. So G minor. And then A flat over G. And this is our typical Phrygian sound here. We have the the B9 here in the scale. And this is a typical Phrygian sound here with a... flat over the G. The next chord is a A flat major chord. I didn't play the major 7 here. I have only a triad sound. So A major. So I can decide. I can play a, a Mixolydian scale or a Ionian scale. And I did both in improvisation. It sounds cool. It's okay. But the next chord that we have is a E flat minor 7. And here we have a Dorian. Uh, scale and over the A flat chord before that E flat Dorian sound we can play a Mixolydian scale and it's the same scale or the same notes as the E flat Dorian scale. So when you improvise you want to do small movements and sometimes the chord tones help. So when you are in, uh, in the G minor or in the G Phrygian here and you go to the A flat major chord you can do a uh, a transition with those chord tones. Mm -hmm. 
So chord tones help. So the A flat major chord is something special because we can play a Mixolydian scale, an Ionian scale, or a Lydian scale. I decided to play a Mixolydian scale. Uh, and sometimes I switched from an Ionian scale to a Mixolydian scale. But you have to be careful when you are playing an A flat um, Ionian scale, then um, you have a G in a scale, and in the Mixolydian scale you have a G flat or a, or a F sharp. So be careful. What I did, I did the transition from Ionian to Mixolydian. Uh, it works too, because I don't have a major seven in the chord. So I played a... Uh, I played an A flat Ionian scale to a Mixolydian scale to a E flat Dorian scale. Whoa, it sounds crazy and it's, uh, it sounds um, complicated somehow when you talk about that. But sometimes when you play over that stuff, it's easy and you hear it. So talking about music is always some, some kind of complex. Uh, I don't know. It is what it is. But you can find out um, your own way. Take the playback. I uh, copied to the end of the video, and with that playback you can practice uh, all day long. Uh, all my patrons get the um, playbacks on my Patreon channel and all the PDFs and stuff. If you like the video and uh, it helps somehow, so feel free to subscribe and um, check out the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please come back to my channel and uh, see you next time.